Because before we read, I'm going to pre-read a couple of words for you, and I want you to read them after I read them. Situation. 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 Quantity. 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 All right, let's go ahead. Let's read, starting with A growth. Ready, read. A growth describes the situation. Quantity increases. All right, so I want you guys to kind of get a sense of what this means. You guys know what it means for something to increase, right? It just means that it grows up. It gets bigger, right? Grows, increase, um, and gets bigger are all different ways we can say it in a very simple way. But I want to take us to this slide over here. This is not in your books, so everyone has to look up here. Now, you guys have seen growth before, but I really want to get at what is special about exponential growth. This is the first type of growth you guys have seen before. This word here is linear. Can you guys read this whole sentence with me? Ready? Read. Linear growth. All right, and we're going to be doing a little experiment where maybe we are investing $20. And now linear growth, what's that word right there? Line. Linear means it's a straight line growth. Right, that we just keep on going up like this. But exponential growth, I want you guys to take your hands and I want you guys to pretend like you're pulling a string. So put your hands like right here, we're about to pull the string apart. Put your hands like this. I want you guys to do linear and keep it a straight line. It's gotta grow though, make sure it's growing. It's not flat, it's not going down, it's growing but in a straight line. And you guys wanna see what exponential growth looks like? Watch me. Exponential growth. You see how big, how big that got real quick? Exponential growth. It skyrockets at the very end. So I want you guys to put your hands like this. And I want you guys to do exponential growth. And as you're doing it, say exponential growth. Ready? Gesture. Exponential growth. Let's do it one more time. Ready? Gesture. Exponential growth. So let's go ahead and let's look at this two different scenarios where we can see that linear is going to be a little bit slower, not as fast as exponential growth. So it's a faster growth. Ready? Read. $100 a day. So after day one, how much money have I made? $100 a day. So on day one, I made $100. Okay, what about on day two? No, just another $100, right? I make $100. But what you guys are thinking of is the bank account, right? So let's go to our bank account. I'll just put BA for bank account. I started with 20. On day one, I made 100, so I have 120. After day two, I have 220. On day three, I make $100 again, so I have 20. On day four, I make $100, so in the bank account, I have 420. On day five, I make $100, so I have 520. 520. So at the end of the week, I have $520. Does that sound good to you guys? Did you see that it grew? It was, there was some growth going on? But what type of growth was this? This was? Straight line, right? Straight line growth. Let's watch exponential growth. All right, so we start with $20, and let's see, every day, you guys see where it says every day? Let's read, ready, read. Every day, your doubles All right, so let's start with day one. Previously, I had $20, so if it doubles, I now have $40. In my bank account, I have $60 just to get it started. All right, so if I double the amount I made yesterday, so double 40 is? 80, and so my bank account has? 140. So after two days, who's making more money? Linear or exponential? Mr. Linear has more than Mr. Exponential, but Mr. Exponential is gonna keep on going. All right, so if I have 80 doubles to? And in my bank account, I now have? 300. So Mr. Linear or Mr. Exponential? Mr. Linear so far, right? Three days. All right, well, what happens next? After 160, 320. After 320, 640. So on just that last day alone, Mr. Exponential now has made more than Mr. Linear in all the week. And let's go back to the bank account because that's where it all tells the truth, right? This, at this point, I have 620. And so at the very end, how much money do I have in my bank account? In the thousand. 1,000. 1,060. Exponential grows faster. I want you guys to use words such as increases, decreases, faster or slower. And I want you guys to answer the question, 
How is exponential growth different from linear growth? So let's have a pair share now. Let's have the green partner start. And then after the green partner has said the answer, rehearsed it, let's have the purple partner rehearse their answer as well. Number six. Um, exponential growth went faster than linear growth because you have a higher, higher number than the linear growth. Exponential growth um, it, in, it increases more because it doubles <coughs> from where you start with the amount you get. All right. And the linear growth, right? Yeah. It you just start you just add it by every day you work that you earn, but in that one it adds where you finish with. Laura said something very important. She said that exponential growth was faster because it was multiplying over and over again. And we have a word for that. It's called the constant factor. Um, so let's go ahead and let's read where it says in an equation. The second line. Ready? Read. In an equation, an exponential growth has a constant factor greater than one. The greater than one, I want you guys to take that, put that to the side of your mind for the moment. Constant factor, the constant factor is that, is how we are increasing our amount exponentially. And she said because we are multiplying over and over again. Have you guys ever heard the word factor before? You guys should have heard it when you were going over multiplication. Right? Two factors of a number. The factors five and six make 30. Right? Factor. That means we're talking about over and over again multiplying. Um, so, we caught it that we were multiplying by 2. Laura caught it. Let's go ahead and let's see it explicitly right here. We're going to read the word problem because, like I said, today we're solving problems. And we're going to get to it because it's going to be fun. You guys will like it. I'm going to read a couple of words and I want you to read them after me. Pop population. It has a U in the middle. Population. Population. All right, let's do it one more time. Population. Population. Bacteria. Bacteria. Let's read the first sentence. Ready? Read. A population doubles every, day. doubles every day. I wanted you guys to actually see what this looked like. And so I went and I got my little iPad here. And let's watch. So what's going on here is that we see these cells, and each one of these, or see, sorry, we see the bacteria, and each little piece of bacteria is going to do what? It's going to double. In a word problem, it's saying every day. So just think of this as a faster camera. We're going to see each bacteria double, split into two. And so that's going to make this whole thing grow, grow what? Grow exponentially. It's going to grow faster, right? What's exponential? Show me with your hands one more time. Exponential growth. All right, so we're going to see it. Watch the bacteria, each single one of them dividing into two more. That means even the ones in the middle are also dividing as the ones on the outside are also dividing. Everything's dividing by two. This thing spreads in seconds, right? Because it's always dividing by two. It got bigger, faster. Okay, so that's what it looked like. We we're talking about a population of bacteria. Now this one's not gonna be so fast because this one doubles every day. So each one of those splits you saw, that would be a brand new day. So that would have been a camera of maybe like, I don't know, like a month. All right, so let's go ahead and let's read the rest of the word problem. We're now at where it says, if the population. Ready, read. If the population of bacteria starts at 2,000, how many days would it take to reach 32,000? All right, so how many are we starting with now? We're starting with 2,000. 2,000. In the video, how many were there at the very beginning? Two. It's like two or three of them, right? But now if we start with 2,000, how many days would it take to get to 32,000? Let's read how many days it would take where it says it would. Ready, read. This graph also shows that after every day what it looks like on a graph to show that it's doubling every day. And you guys remember the exponential growth we did? Doesn't that what the graph looked like? Yeah. Right? It kind of shows like up real quick. On day zero, the initial amount. How many do we have on day zero? We have 2,000, right? We're starting with 2,000. It's doubling every day. Instead of saying 1,000, let's just kind of, we know we're talking about thousands, let's just say there's two. 
on day number one, it's doubled to two. four. four thousand. Right? It went from starting at 2,000, so two, it doubled to four. four. And after, so the next day, it doubled to eight. Eight, eight. eight doubles to 16, sorry, we'll double to, 32. and what are we talking about? 32,000. And so how many days did we say? Four. 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 And we can just kind of track it by keeping track of doubling every day, doubles and doubles. You guys also see there's a little bit of math here. We can solve these mathematically when the numbers aren't so easy. And I want you guys to go back to that line that we just read in an equation. And I want you guys to circle constant factor greater than one. And with your pencil, I want you guys to go down to the equation. So you see me, I'm just traveling. And I'm going to point to this 2 right there. So draw your line. In an exponential equation, we have a number that's called the constant factor. The constant factor is the number that has the unknown variable, the unknown exponent. The constant factor has the unknown exponent. So why did I make you point to the 2 in that equation? That is the? So can you guys all repeat with me? Two is the constant factor. Two, two is the constant factor. Say it one more time. Ready? Read. Two, two is the constant factor. factor. Two is the constant factor. In exponential growth, the constant factor is greater than one. So let's read right here, starting from exp exponential growth. Ready? Read. Exponential growth has a constant factor greater than one. And so if you take a look at the constant factor, what's the constant factor right now? Two. Why is it two? Because remember, the bacteria doubles every day. And this number, since it's greater than one, we can look at this equation. If we didn't know, we now know that that's exponential growth. Just real quick, just because this might help, take a look at the other side. This is called exponential decay. And in exponential decay, the constant factor is the other way. It's less than one, in this case, one half. All right, so I want you guys to go ahead and look at your two equations, equation A, equation B. It's the bottom of your page. Working with your partner in pair sharing, I want you guys to decide which equation is an equation of exponential growth. Boards up. What do you have on your board and why did you pick it? I have A as an answer because 3 is bigger than 1 4. Perfect. I'm going to help you out, okay? Say A is exponential growth. A is, ex A is exponential growth. Because the constant factor? Because the constant factor. Is what number? It's 3. And 3 is greater than? 3 is greater than 1 4. Just 1. It just has to be greater than 1. It is greater than 1 4, but it's all about comparing the 1, so very good. No, my answer is A because... Say A is exponential growth because... A is exponential growth because it's greater than 1. What's greater than 1? 4. What's the constant factor of equation A? Oh, it's 3. 3. And what do we know about exponential equations and the constant factor? It must be... Greater than 1. A is exponential growth because... A is exponential growth because... Because 3 is greater than 1, 4. Greater than... 1. Greater than just one. A was the correct answer because the constant factor, which is three, is greater than one. You guys can erase your boards. 